intense battle. What I saw was bizarre. I just prophesy over us right now in the name of Jesus that every intense battle, Exodus 14 and 14, we hold our peace and the Lord God fight for us in Jesus' mighty majestic name. What I saw was wolves and spiders, two of the most intense spiritual battles are fighting one person. Wolves and spiders, bear this in mind, you would not get the battle if God didn't see that you can defeat them. Can somebody touch yourself and say, I can defeat them through Jesus Christ. For the weapons of the warfare are not carnal, but you're mighty through God to the pulling down of every strong. Amen. So wolves represent Eden. People who say God, but they're not for God. They're, they're in the flesh. They're carnal, jealous, envy, trying to fight down those who seem to be doing well or God be using for their own selfish gain to be number one, to this or to that wolves i saw someone looking like a pope like a catholic he was dressed in the clothing of the pope with fine embroidery white gown thing big and whatever and his eyes he looked like a white skin man brown skin white skin his eyes though the retina the black part was completely red i decree judgment locate them that want to stop the people of God. The Lord said, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Those who are doing God's prophets on me, on be done to them. Why must the Eden region imagine a vain thing? Somebody said, Judgment. Amen. It is cancelled. Now, what I saw on the other and the wolf represent, the, the spider represent witchcraft. This is someone who delve in hard witchcraft or they're from a lineage of witchcraft or nonetheless they just believe in witchcraft. But what I saw was a Rasta man from Brooklyn that I know that I was around one time and he's trying to fight me. He made an oath to never see me rise. He made an oath that over his dead body I prayed the Lord answer him. I come in agreement with him that his prayers be answered in Jesus name. Now what I saw was this. Um, some people that you was around they never valued you. Though they saw value in you. Pay attention. They saw that you was better than them. You was going to go better, richer, prosperous, whatever. They envied it. So whilst they were trying to swap your destiny, they would put you down. Always, everyone that knew you and knew them saw you as a nobody. Because they would always pretend with you and tell them, oh, I don't like her. I don't know. She's a this. She's a that. So people saw you as a nobody. But God has turned the table. So now they're jealous because they saw your great destiny. They saw it. They all saw it. So, so they're fighting for it. I decree and I declare judgment locate those. The Lord said that when he does a thing, he does it forever. Ecclesiastics 3, 14. I decree and I declare anybody that doesn't want what God is doing in our lives to remain somebody tight. Judgment of God. Locate them. We bind their arrows back upon to them. No weapon form against us or our loved ones. Our children will prosper. Not no, not ever. In Jesus name. And every moat that rise against us in judgment. Somebody type condemnation. It is written. Sila. Amen. Please share this message. Thank you.